Welcome to college basketball season. It is time in Mackey Arena here in West Lafayette, Indiana. And the number 14 Purdue Boilermakers ready to take the court for the first time in the regular season against the Texas A&M Corpus Christi Islanders. Said they kept their team. And here we go. And there's Braden Smith with his first touch of the night and the first touch of the season for the preseason Big Ten Player of the Year. And we've got a whistle already and an offensive foul going against Trey Kaufman Red. Ten offensive rebounds against Creighton and Grand Valley State. He's going to be a big part of this Purdue offense this season. Isaac Williams, freshman starting at point guard for this Islander team. Gary Clark's probably their best player. Misses the shot in a foul battling. Obviously moved on to Western Kentucky and now to Oklahoma State. But this program, a very good one. Trey Kaufman then with the rebound off the Owen D. Smith and a quick push up the floor to Lawyer for three. And Brayden Smith saw him the entire way down the floor right there. Fletcher Lawyer knows exactly if he runs hard to that wing, his point guard's going to find him. Lawyer, the Big Ten's three point shooting leader in league play a year ago at almost 47%. Or rather, Corpus Christi at that point guard spot. Deese. Tipped away at Smith, who got a hand on it. He'll start it up the floor. Drops it off. In transition and the finish for Jakari Harris. And not the bad. Didn't get it. And then the Kaufman Ren miss is rebounded by Deese. Deese, the open man out of the double. And he hits the three. I have to think that this is a big game for Owen. A guy who's got a lot to play for tonight. An Evansville, Indiana kid who's back home in his home state to play basketball. In the corner, Kaufman runs three, rebounded by Jacobson. Jacobson at 7-4 is fouled, and that's Sheldon Williams. They gave for a big story early. Last year, and that's certainly not how he came in to, to Purdue as a freshman, so he's pretty good for the most part. It's a good opportunity, and a one will take it for Purdue. Oh, Jacobson cleaning it up on the glass. His first block, the bounce to Lawyer. Lawyer on the drive to the rim, got the roll. He is underrated in his ability to get to the basket. You have to respect his jump shot. 48% from three in Big Ten play, led the Big Ten last season. He just puts that thing on the floor, he finds things at the rim. Five for Lawyer to start the season. Nice passing inside, but Jacobson there with the block. And they're gonna call that one a goal 10. Where can they be effective on the floor, especially on this end? How do you fit in alongside these guys who Purdue is going to run these plays for? Will Berg on the floor for the first time, the 7 2 sophomore. Here's Trey Kaufman ran in the paint. Nice catch and finish. Boy, they're finding the basketball and then making a play. I know it was exhibition, but I couldn't have been more impressed with Trey Kaufman ran in that Creighton exhibition at the end of October. Absolutely. Good go by to the rim for Owen Deese. to shoot. Smith finds Kaufman Red all alone for three. Well, Texas A&M Corpus Christi was out playing, finding his four-man open for three. But you can see the little parts of the experience of the Islanders. They help on defense. They're where they need They to really be. pressure. This is what they do. They turn you over. And Isaac Williams finishes the freshman at the rim. When they're going to need guys like that to rebound, Absolutely. Aren't they? There's a void <laughs> from the uh, 12 or 13 rebounds that were sucked up by Zach Eady last year. Uh, there's Braden Smith. How often have we seen that in his career? Still just a junior, but he pumps the three in to make it a six-point game. Right, those bigs are back. He just feasts on that type of coverage and pick and roll. Gary Clark in the paint. Good control for the senior. Who Jim Shaw was raving about his mid for Aaron Potter. Islanders back quickly. Smith got a good pick for Berg. Rolls it to the big man who's fouled, and he'll go to the line. You could see it there. A, a breakdown in the pick and roll deep. He's a little different big than what we saw from. Not an easy thing to deal with, but he, he's a good rebounder. He's a good screener. And that's going to be where he can make his mark for Purdue this year. 
Ian Wright Ford with a blocking foul called underneath on Braden Smith, and Wright Ford will go to the line for a pair. And that is Dean Wright Ford. Ford is looking to get his game on in the open floor. And he's a rare bunch, a bunch for this team. He was very effective scoring the ball in that role. Go, rebound, Burgess inside. No, and it's secured underneath by Gary Clark of the Islanders. Look up the floor, and Texas A&M Corpus Christi is hanging on rims. Purdue oh, misses geez. a layup. Riley Burgess losing his balance. Corpus, and you mentioned so much reason to play well here, being from the state of Indiana. He was plagued with injuries his first couple of years, fully healthy, and you could tell. C.J. Coxell tried the three. Hit. Boy, how this dude? You watch that Grand Valley. There's a lot of new faces in new places. Some question marks at that center position. We, we've seen that on display through 10 minutes, and then a lot of bodies rotating in and out, and that's kind of great in scrimmage. That, that was a high-level game. It was. He did not look like this. Williams a little short, and Miles Colvin with the rebound. Now Cox looks to push it up the floor. Here's Colvin, the three in transition. Oh, that was a tough shot right there. Pretty good contest. And normally, if you're trailing in on a play like that, and it can be tough if there's a late contest there. Boy, how about Cox? C.J. Cox is going to win some fans. The tie-up, and here comes the paint crew. Best shooter on this team. A little screen for the screener action there. Clearly, Texas A&M Corpus Christi trying to get him going. Another turnover for the Boilermakers. Quickly up the floor is Williams. The finger will no. The follow, no. The second follow, yes, from Aaron Potter. And Painter's not going to like that. Certainly the turn there. Purdue not getting back, and the Islanders taking advantage. Seven turnovers already for Purdue in this first half. The entry to Kaufman Wren. Nice gather and finish. You're going to post trap him. I would what? I remember the play. <laughs> <laughs> Clark inside and the rejection from Jacobson. Harris, the skip to Colvin. His second three. And Painter has to be happy with those two guys coming off the bench and giving Purdue a spark. And a takeaway. Potter with the steal and Potter with the finish. Big time finish at that because Miles Colvin was tracking that thing down. And Purdue just a little bit suspect here with the basketball. Now, eight turnovers here in this first half. I said it earlier, but in two exhibition games, only seven combined. There's Lawyer with the shot fake step in for two. Good shot fake there. There's Colvin Red with the skip. Colvin feeling it early. And that's why. But that play doesn't happen if Kaufman Wren doesn't slip out of that screen. You've got two on the ball again. The Islanders so aggressive with their pick and roll defense. Kaufman Wren's out quickly and then great pass. Seven of ten from three to start the night for Purdue. The pull up for two for Damari and Dennis. Grand Braden Smith. An interesting team in the Southland Conference this year. Down. And, and certainly, when you're talking about the Southland, McNeese just, yeah. they are a machine down there with, with Will Wade. But Nichols, on everywhere. Yep. It, it's pretty crazy to see. Already oh. to ascend to Stillwater. Five to shoot. Jackson with the screen. The skip tipped. Got to throw up the three. It is short, but it got his own. Did Potter and oh, Potter pass? Boy, what a feed inside to Gary Clark. Get Braden Smith flying by on the con contest, and Potter did a nice job following his shot. The, the acrobatics there, a little 360 dropping off. You got the shot blocker coming over. Well done by Aaron Potter. And back to a six-point game. We've got a whistle and a foul. Trying to fight through that screen. The feed for the ball in case. Yeah. And it's just the inst. Even a guy like Dean Wright Ford missed a lot of time with the knee in the preseason. Tipped away into the backcourt. Touched by Parker last. Active hands for the Islanders defense. Six to shoot. The skip to Colvin. A hand again. The three for Colvin and a foul. Envious of Miles Colvin's ability to come in games automatically on fire. I mean, this dude is NBA jam mode. What a pass from Braden Smith. It's going to be an issue of matching the size and physicality. Jackson sits down with two. Also back out there, Torbor, who has two fouls in his limited time. 
And what was a tight game is all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, a 13-point Purdue lead. But they're doing it from distance tonight with the three-point shot. Eight for 11 from three. Nice scoop inside. Brooks in there to clean it up. Jacobson, just the 10 points in the paint tonight. Jacobson caught it high and kept it high on the float. Spin and baseline, and two against Jacobson, Sheldon Williams. You see the experience there. Also just the physicality. Going Kaufman Wren with the rebound. Here's Kaufman Wren. The dish, Lawyer, steps left for three. This has been a clinic. Four for four, all from three. Circling out to the bottom of your screen in the corner. Inside instead to Caleb first, and first with his first two of the season. Roberts tipped away, first got a body on that one, fourth turnover of the night. The skip to Colvin, he'll go baseline. And his first non-three is off the side of the backboard. Numbers for the Islanders in transition and a foul on Lawyer. Just the third Purdue foul. And a foul on the floor before the shot. It's one where I'm sure Matt Painter is thinking. Fouls to give if they so choose. Rob inside. Blocked away. Caleb first with the swap. Here comes Colvin. Up the floor. The acrobatic two from Isaac Williams takes us to halftime. An entertaining first half that sees the Boilermakers enjoying a 16-point lead. Jacobson will go to work for Purdue. And the ball taken away. Pressure again. Yep. Roberts to the rim for two for the Islanders. Turnovers have really been an issue for Purdue tonight. Persevere here. Yeah, yeah, look at you. The best do. Jacobson will try the three and the rebound to Owen Deese. Just the start of the season for everybody, including my cake eating friend Robbie Hummel. <laughs> Here's Roberts on the baseline, and the jumper's good. And Roberts was caught and ran, able to get it back. And the open man in the scramble is Braden Smith. The three won't go, and the rebound kicks out to the Islanders, and here comes Isaac Williams. He can fly, feeds it to Deese, and a blocking foul called underneath on Lawyer and two free. And Deese gets the kind roll. Really close. Yeah, that could go either way. It probably will as the season goes to down to Coffin Red. Six to shoot. Coffin Red with the double feeds out of it to Jacobson and a foul. Deese coming from behind. When you're in those close quarters, to, to find big to big, pass from areas, yeah, the little pieces. Cohesiveness, you know, certainly building chemistry with, with the very inside Clark. Lost the handle, and it ends up with Jacobson. Good job by Kaufman Ren of moving the feet there. Five turnovers now for the Islanders. There's Kaufman Ren on the offensive end. Beautiful spin down the baseline for two. We... Smith the skip. Deese with the takeaway. Deese to the other end, and Deese with the flush. Great Smith just falling down. And I know it's game one, so I caveat that with when I ask this question, but how big of a concern are the turnovers? It's, it's going to be discussed. I mean, th this is what Corpus Christi does. Th their numbers last year, they were an elite team at turning over, just like Trey Coffin ran is an elite at getting to that right jump hook. He's got 11 in this one. But the competition is only going to ramp up, and Purdue is going to have to be better at taking care of the basketball. Quick three from Roberts is good, and Jordan Roberts with his first from range in four attempts. In a day out, and then to see him get to experience that final four was pretty special. Yeah, it was fun for us to see him in Glendale last season. As the tip off the miss by Lawyer is there for Kaufman Wren, he's got 13. What's his role going to look like this season, Robbie? 
in terms of Kaufman Rand? Yeah, in terms of Kaufman Rand. They're going to post him up. He's going to look to be one of those guys that's a primary scorer on this team. I, I think they'll utilize him in some short roles the way we've seen tonight. As he slipped out, been able to loyal try from distance. And the rebound by Beast. Fifth board for the Evansville native. Warber. Control around right forward inside and a blocking foul on Will Burr. Uh, this team has not been good about talking through some action on the defensive. How to take other parts of the game to make those things not, not maybe necessarily. There's Berg, the handoff to Smith. Lob underneath, and Berg gathers and throws it off the left side of the rim. I, I like that if he didn't catch it cleanly, he didn't try to force the issue there. Chance for the Boilermakers. Only three points for number three, the preseason Big Ten Player of the Year. He'll go to work. Lob underneath, and his foul is called. at the stripe and there's the first just for a brief cup of coffee in the first half of the 6 11 freshman so three bigs to try to fill the big shoes of Zach Eady. I think for the foreseeable future until guys start maybe carving out some separation that's what this is going to be right forward with the three and all of a sudden the Islanders with three made threes in the second half the dribble penetration again Beat off the bounce, the skip pass out. It's not a strength of right sports game. It's 25 percent from three last year, but the Islanders playing with plenty of confidence. Smith, good find underneath the Berg. The foul on Sheldon Williams and getting them to the foul line. You see the foul coming from the Adam Shaw as Berg will go back to the line for one more. Missed them both by Heidi to get a hand on that. Now Smith ahead, and it's a turnover. Right forward, ahead to Deese, working against Smith for two. And we've got a five-point game at Mackey Arena. And you turn the ball over, and you are vulnerable to get beat, whether it's... Tend to shoot for Smith. Drop off to Heidi, open three. Not gonna go, Berg there with the offensive rebound. And Berg spins it up and in. Colvin. Find that first half range. Really flat shot there. I will say though, Brayden Smith is finding his teammates in a masterful way right now. How about Williams with the penetration? Isaac Williams is opening some eyes tonight. We will be going to another break on the next dead ball. That was a called timeout break, and then we're still waiting for the under 12 break. Lawyer gonna hold off that break a little while longer than here. Harris to work with seven to shoot. Harris inside, back out to Smith. The touch to Lawyer. Wanted the contact and he got it. The foul on Jordan Roberts and Fletcher Lawyer late in the shot clock. Looked like it was going nowhere. Purdue going to get three free throws here. Fletcher Lawyer. New spots, Michigan and USC. That's the man. Eric Musselman. Do it. Muss is the guy. He is. They look good in that exhibition yes, against they Gonzaga. Did. They've got some real talent, some very big guards, great size. Let's catch and finish inside. Wow. Well, he won the physicality. Clark will try from deep. And he'll hit. Clark from three. And here come the Islanders again, back within six. Not necessarily. Smith again. Smith with 12 assists tonight. He'll take it himself and he'll go to the line for a pair. It's a pretty impressive change of direction. Free throw no good. We've seen players start to manipulate. The it was just enough by the time it resin team to go. The Islanders down seven with a basketball and Braden Smith nearly got that one out. That could have been a tough gamble because he left Jordan Roberts who's their best shooter. Oh, what a drive. Right. My Goodness, Dean right forward with an and one opportunity. First foul on Harris. Three point play complete. Akiti's time to take over. Now the question mark is who is the go to guy? I have to assume it's going to be Braden Smith. And a foul called on Jordan Roberts. That is his second. 
wasn't even a game where you had a crowd that factored it. You're quietly doing work down there. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> no offense. I mean, I just, I'm, you think it'd be the Yukons or the Kansases. Granted, they. It feels like one of those them. statements, though, that you'd take offense with no offense, but no, I can't I believe mean, I you're just, doing it. I just wouldn't have thought that they would be in that. that Clark. Another three. The great equalizer is the three. has gone ice cold after 9 of 13 in the first half from three. Here's Lawyer. The look oh. underneath and the flush. No one coming over to help the helper. You stop the initial dribble drive, but somebody's got to crack down on him. Yeah. He has made a couple, but I'd like to see him drive him. He can do that. 45 to go. Kaufman Ren spins inside. A lot of contact. Got the two. And he can still. Purdue's going to get another test with Yale coming in. James Jones is a beast in that Ivy League. Picks second in the Ivy this year. Lawyer fouled. Bump from D and right forward. And two free throws coming for Fletcher Lawyer. Third on right forward. Jakarta nice Jakarta debut Jakarta. to the season for Lawyer. I think his body, he's not, you know gonna win any Mr. Olympia awards and he probably never is but he's already a good player and a turnover right back Potter again oh, wow. and the finish from Isaac Williams a couple of years and some of these undisciplined turnovers just burning them continuously a lawyer turns the corner he'll take it himself and uses the window 21 for lawyer Jacobson with the rejection. Smith will back it out. Smith turns the court oh. all the way up and in. Braden Smith with eight. Goes along with his 13 assists tonight, and also he's got seven rebounds. Not a bad night, and then a finish inside for Deese on the other end. Braden Smith, though, every time. If he should pass, he's passed. If he should shoot, he's he shot. Right there, right on cue. It's a little bit of a secondary break type action. In that shot. Here's Smith. Two points, three rebounds from a triple double. The five in the corner for Harrison at three. That is a huge bucket for the freshman. Williams trying to split. Kaufman Wren with a takeaway. Here comes Smith. Looking. And Kaufman Red. The skip of the lawyer. Long passes in this game are certainly dangerous. 13 to shoot. Smith will turn the corner. Oh, the drive. He's got a double double. There you go again. I mean, no one stops the ball, so Braden Smith does. The three short, and Kaufman Red the rebound. Give Corpus Christi, though, a lot of credit. They came in here shorthanded and they really battled Purdue. They'll rack up another down. Closing in on that career. Boilermakers about to go to 1 0. It was a test tonight, it was a challenge. But Graydon Smith can't get it to fall. He'll go to the line looking for two more. With Dusty May to run the post now for Danny Wolf, Michigan, Twin Danny Towers. Wolf over there. He did a great job of getting in the portal. Yeah, he did. Rebuilding that roster. Well, we saw what Golden did for him at FAU. That's going to be a nice addition. They did some good work in that and portal I, all the way around. I think it's really important when there is a coaching change to bring someone in that understands what coach is looking for. Vlad Golden certainly can be that guy. Jackson with the two and the Indianapolis native. Gets on the board to 15. And the R House chant begins anew. 36 straight regular season non conference wins for the Boilermakers. They got a test, but they pull away and win it 90 to 73. The final tonight. Purdue begins 1 and 0 on this young season behind a double double from Braden Smith and five Boilermakers scoring in double figures.